Joining us now again with his take on the results, Dr. Stephen Caliendo from North Central College in Naperville. Thank you so much for joining us again. Uh, so you've been kind of breaking down everything. We do know that Donald Trump elected the 45th president of the United That's States. Right. What is next for him? Because obviously uh, he's going to have to unify not only the country, but his own political party right now. That's true. He's going to have to do that. He's also going to gonna have to learn to pivot out of campaign mode and into governance mode. And that's going to be challenging for him. Uh, it's true that he's going to have a friendly House and Senate for the most part, although there's lots of Republicans that he made angry uh, throughout this process as well and who don't care for him or some of his policies very much. But I think that the Senate Democrats in particular, because of the procedural rules, they're going to have an opportunity. If they want to be obstructionist, they can do that. Certainly, President President Obama faced that, and uh, the congressional Republicans were very clear that they saw their role as to disrupt what he wanted to do. That's part of the process. That's how it works, and so it'll be interesting to see how the Senate Democrats respond. You know, it's interesting. We talked about um, earlier the popular vote versus the Electoral College. It had been part of the discussion earlier about getting rid of the Electoral College. Does this move that discussion forward? Is it moot? Uh, it's not. I, I, I mean, I think that the fact that it's happened twice in a, in a short period of time when it hadn't happened for so long might instigate a conversation again, but it's so unlikely. Uh, it's, it's not because there's not an appetite for uh, a popular vote carrying the day, but it would take a constitutional amendment. And the fact of the matter is the small states disproportionately benefit by, by the way the Electoral College is structured, and so they're not going to have much of an incentive to vote for an amendment to overturn uh, the Electoral College. And I just don't think in the, in the list of priorities from jobs to ISIS to other things we care about, that the Electoral College is going to be very much yeah. on people's minds. All right, well, lots to right. talk about this morning. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Unity is much going to be a lot to talk today. about for a while, a couple months, yeah. probably right. at least. Thank you, yeah. Professor Caliendo joining us. Thank you so much.